Hello and welcome to this video on conversations on consciousness. Today I'll be talking to you about self-control and emotional intelligence. So what is that exactly? Well, self-control is controlling yourself when you get in, into an emotional state which can be anxiety, it can be depression, it can be a state of anxiety or temptation and how to control that. It takes it can take a long time to master. I'm still mastering it. But however, it's noticing when you are feeling a certain way to step back and to relax. Knowing that you aren't always in control of certain situations in your life, but however, you are in control of yourself, you of your emotions. You are the powerhouse. You are what controls your body, your mind, your spirit to be a certain way. So how can you master your emotions and not allow your emotions to be in control of you? How can you be in control of your emotions? And that comes with time. Time is a great healer, it is your best friend. It is here forever, it's never gonna go away. Sometimes there is not enough time in, in the day, in life to deal with something. However, if you are an, enabling yourself to relax and let go, you can take and absorb everything around you. So self-control is controlling yourself, perhaps through addictions, perhaps through lots of things, temptation. But you don't want to be suppressing yourself at the same time. You need to reward yourself with the things that you, you have done, but not get in a state of, of routine, of eating the same things or being addicted to alcohol, or it be drugs or a certain food. Everything in life can be okay. Everything in balance, but too much of something can be um, too much. It can be either controlling to yourself or it can rule your world. Some people have a weakness for like, say, chocolate or treats or crisps or takeaways, McDonald's, um, Coke, Coca-Cola is like, like a big one. Um, alcohol, drugs, but it's coming to a point in your life where you say to yourself, you know, do I need this? Is this going to help me? And how to do that? It's really sustaining for yourself. And having self-control is something that I really learned when I was practicing fruitarianism, uh, being vegan, just only eating fruit. I wanted to challenge myself, I wanted to challenge my body and my mind. If my body and my mind could deal with the absence of warm foods, going raw vegan, and then going through cleanses, going through fasting, and the temptation of like, I'll just have, I'll just have a little bit of something to eat. There was many times being raw vegan was very challenging, it was very challenging that there was times when I just wanted that bit of taste. And the times when I broke the fast just because I wanted to eat something, I felt bad because it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. And this is something to remember that we can visualize so much about something that we really desire, that when it comes to it, it's not how we imagined in our mind. And really we can have what we want when we want it, when we're adults, when we have the money, the time, for whatever it is, that it's kind of like saying to yourself, okay, I can live with it right, without it right now, and I'll enjoy it when the time comes to have it. So it's about balance. All, life is, a, to me, the, the philosophy of my life and the, you know, the wisdom that I continue to learn about making my life just that little bit more simpler and living my life in such a way that I don't need a holiday. That's how I live my life, is that I leave enough time for myself to do the things that I want to do. So it's kind of like, if I know that I have to be somewhere at 5 p.m., um, for example, recording this video just for, for you who's watching, that two hours ago I was out for a walk and I thought I better, better start eating, so I thought I better start heading home and then making food and then having enough time that I'm not stressed in the process. Now, many years ago, I used to be very, very stressed and, you know, not having the time for me 
um, properly or others and being late. And now my life is a lot more relaxed. Now you might think, oh, it's okay, you have enough time. It's like, well, we can make time. It's about having that self-control and saying no to, to people or situations. And or not just saying no, saying it in more of a nice way of like, hey, I'm really sorry, I, I love to talk right now, but I have to get ready. And sometimes we don't do that because us spiritual people want to be in the presence and like be be of a place of no time. GMT time. <laughs> if you live in Glastonbury in England, it's known as Glastonbury maybe time, GMT time. Uh, the Greenwich mean time, GMT time. People are kind of laid back. They can, can sometimes be a bit late. And not, this isn't the same for everybody. For me, I like to be on time. I like to plan and always leave enough time that I'm not rushing about because in that time of preparing and thinking and, and, and going forward I have that self-control of having a much more of a relaxed life. Now you probably don't realize how much time spare you do have in the day sometimes I can't speak for everybody. Some people have enough time in the day that they have they have a lot of time to flick through Facebook. It could be an hour or two hours go by when they, they're just going through social media and they are, you know, looking at, at life and, uh, uh, you know, beyond themselves. And then before they know it, something, you know, time has gone. You know, how, how long has it been since you've been watching a movie or listening to music or just daydreaming? I was just sitting in one place the other day. I think this was yesterday. Six minutes had gone by. And I was like, what? Six minutes? And like, where did that time go? Because I allowed myself to let go. I allowed myself to just daydream and just, just visualize and just daydreaming and be, be nowhere. However, when you, when me, when I am organizing to be somewhere, I have that self-control of relaxing and preparing my time so I'm not rushing. I don't like to rush about. And, and when I do, I feel very stressed, I'm not present me doing these videos for, for you to watch. Um, I don't like to be in a stressful mind. I like to just arrive here in my chair, in the space, talking, and allow myself just to ramble on about things that I think about and wanted to share. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you to also, perhaps a glimpse of my life, and at these times right now that I can perhaps reach out and help people in ways that I can't do in person right now at this time in 2021 or whenever you are watching this. Self-control is something that we can all do and we have all done, but it comes with self-respect and giving time for ourselves to be not late, to be on time, and also to control ourselves with temptations, addictions of routines and things that we keep saying to us, oh, I keep doing this, why do I keep doing that? Then it's like, well, stop. <laughs> and it may take some time, but the only change comes from within, from within yourself, of the person that wants to change, of wants to move forward. You know, self-acceptance, I can't even speak, sorry. Self-acceptance and self-control are, are, are part of the whole package of you is accepting who you are and having that self-control of like okay this is who I am I can't change who I am or how I feel but this is who I am and if you love me then accept me who I am because I accept accept me and with that you have the time for yourself to just be more relaxed some people I see are very tight in their energy field are very dense and sensitive at the same time. Have you ever seen those type of people where they seem strong but inside they can be quite fragile and sensitive because they're putting on a false them. They're trying to not deceive people around them but they're putting on a different mask because they want to be strong and that's fine. However, trying too hard can sometimes be hard. It can sometimes put an S into a state of consciousness, consciousness, sorry, in my tongue <laughs> put us into a state of consciousness where we're not feeling comfortable we're trying to be someone we're not but we don't have to prove anything to anybody 
A great quote I love is, uh, your opinion of me is none of my business. <laughs> and that's really true. Like, whatever you think of me, I don't care. It's like, the only people that concern me about how I feel and how I interact is the loved ones around me, my closest bubbles, you know, my, my, my partner, my friends, my family, my dog, <laughs> my boss. Those are the important characters that I need to worry about, that, okay, I need to impress or I need to give something emotionally. But at the same time, that comes from only having self-control of yourself, that if you can control your emotions, if you can control what you're saying, not to hurt the other person, not intentionally anyway. And it's about actively listening. Because how can you learn about yourself if you're not willing to surrender and know that perhaps I can be a bit stubborn sometimes. Like someone's telling me that I'm stubborn, I'm like, hmm, I'm not stubborn. Like, okay, yeah, I can be. But actively listening and listening and taking on board of what other people say about yourself. And then, okay, how can I change that? How can I change that to be a better person or evolve or grow? Life to me is full of beautiful experiences, beautiful opportunities for us to for, for those around us to show us our true colors and their true colors, but for those around us to show us, be a mirror of our own faults, our own phobias, our own traumas, the way we get triggered, the way we react and act and are a certain way. Like what can we do in that situation to have that self-control of with our emotions and go, okay, you know what? Yeah, I need to work on that. And you may not want to express it to that person, but at least do it inside. You know, you have nothing to prove to somebody else, but can you make your life a lot more smoother by being a better person, by speaking better, by not being too blunt, by being smoother, by being happier, by being a better person to be around, to be happy? Communication is important in all relationships, with yourself, with others around you, just communicating and both sides it's the person that you're with is saying are you okay and i'm like yeah i'm just i like this time to think you know about things or reflect and i like this time in the mornings or the evening to just you know have some time to myself and put some music on and just allow whatever comes to me you know that that's how i am you know i need that time for my own thoughts i, I can't be around somebody all the time i don't think it's healthy anymore I think we need that time to meditate in our own way. I mean, I meditate in my own way, where I am listening to my body, my emotions, my guides. And in that time, yeah, addictions can come up or feelings or cravings, but again, how do we, how do I, you know, me as a person, how do we as a collective, how do we control that? and? You know, like, uh, I think the biggest addiction for many people nowadays is, is online shopping. It used to be shopping, but now, because of 2021, uh, COVID and, and lockdown and pandemic and everything, that more people are shopping online, it can be very addictive. So it's like, what can people do to, you know, not spend much or, you know, it's like, what else to do in the world? We can't go out. So it's like, let's bring the world to us, you know, let's buy things to make us feel good because we're filling a void. And when we do that, when we are craving something, it's because we're not craving that thing. We're not craving that, that Coca-Cola, that, you know, that, that drink or that alcohol or that drug or, or that, even that, that emotional drug, you know, something that we're addicted to. We're filling that void of something that is not healed. You know, we have a hole in our aura of like, you know, pain or suffering and, we want to fill it with something good and what makes us feel good, and that's fine. But we need that self-control of like, okay, I'm going to enjoy it when the time comes, but right now I just need to work on this part of me. And sometimes it's not always easy to do. So self-control, you know, emotional intelligence, how can we be better ourselves? It's, it's time, which is the answer, but also being actively conscious about what we need to change within ourselves. And that comes with patience and, of course, self-control of like, okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to wait. I can't, I don't, I'm not in control of the situation right now, but I'm just going to, just going to wait for a little bit. And when the time is right, it will happen. <laughs>
So, with that, give love to yourself. Be patient, have time, and things will always work out. Thank you for listening, and I'll speak to you next time.